I'm Chris Mays. I work here at the uh, Natural History Museum in Sweden and um, a researcher on some of the fossils we have here. Um, I'm actually originally from Australia uh, and I'm doing my postdoctoral research here. So the plants themselves are a, are a big cause of the, of the fires that we see. They're adapted to fire, so they use fire to, to spread their seeds after, after uh, a fire has come through the area. And once you've cleared the area of other plants, it's much easier for them to grow. Uh, but set in the, in the background is, is that the world is actually warming. And that warming trend will promote fires uh, earlier in the season than usual and at a much uh, greater intensity. So those, that combination of, of flammable plants plus the changing climate is really going to promote fires uh, today and in the future. So some of the animals that are being affected quite severely, and there's a lot of animals being uh, killed in these uh, fires, they're, they're going to be hit, uh, their populations are going to be hit quite severely that they may not bounce back from. Um, because the, the, the magnitude of these fires is, is, is not quite like anything we've seen for quite a long time. Hundreds of millions of animals have, have died already in this season, and it may be that uh, we'll have um, uh, much reduced populations and genetic diversity in that area. In the long term, I think that the, the eucalyptus and the other adapted, uh, these fire adapted plants will actually do pretty well, uh, even if humans and the animals that live in those areas probably are not going to do so well. Um, and I think it's something that the, the Australian uh, people need to come to grips with, that this is going to become more common in the future. So you can actually see evidence of, of pretty uh, dramatic fires in the past, in the, the deep past, in the geological history. Uh, for example, you look at things like this, where you see pieces of charcoal scattered throughout this rock. Lots and lots of uh, fires were in, the t uh, in that area at the time. And this is from a period uh, 250 million years ago, uh, when there was a, a very, um, very extreme global climate, a very warm period. Um, and you can also see examples of that much more recently. This is around 20 million years ago and you have fossil eucalyptus, a very um, very well fire adapted plant with little bits of charcoal sitting on like this. Uh, what this represents are times in Earth's history when the world was warmer and fires are much more prone. And as we can see in the modern world, if we keep warming them up, uh, warming the global climate up, we're going to get into a more fire prone uh, global uh, climate. So uh, it's something to to be wary of, and the fossils have basically give us an indication of what happens during those times. Um, when you warm the world very rapidly, you end up with a mass extinction, and it looks like um, fire might be a pretty underappreciated but very direct cause of, of land extinctions that we hadn't really considered too much until recently.